Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Dante Sanchez from the University of uh, Charles Tirso, Madrid. Uh, today, we will present you some work that I'm developing uh, using uh, some structures that we call that containers and global compute. And this um, thing is called a mesh store. And we're developing this to create services on and the computing continuum. And many science problems require very com complex and data intensive cooperation uh, between multiple actors. Uh, here we have some challenges like the volume and veracity of the data, uh, the data distribution, and also the heterogeneity of the data. Uh, this challenge has to be faced uh, uh, when we deploy uh, data science uh, systems that have to uh, process multiple data sources. To cope with these issues, uh, Workflow Manager usually creates uh, data flows where multiple applications are connected and uh, producing many input and output files that have to be synchronized uh, between all the applications in the uh, life cycle of the data. multi tier serverless architectures has arisen as a solution or an alternative to deploy these uh, the data science uh, systems where they can take advantage of the different infrastructure that uh, organizations have available. For example, the cloud to uh, deploy uh, high availability systems, the FOG to and the edge to reduce the latency between the source of the data and the processing of the data, and a combination of them that can be created in a hierarchical manner. Some challenges are have to be faced in these multi-tier serverless architectures, like the that latency, the storage capacity of, uh, of some devices, for example, in the edge, and the synchronization between all the levels in the in, in the architecture and the management of the input-output operations and their synchronization. And also the enforcing of non functional requirements that are crucial when we are working on this on high distributed systems, uh, for example, security to keep the confidentiality between the data when this didn't move it from the edge to the cloud or, or reliability to keep avail available the systems in any time and any moment. So to keep with these issues, we create, we develop an architecture that is called message store, which is basically divided on in four layers. The first one is the processing plane uh, where are deploying are the functions to process the data, and these are distributed through multiple environments. We are, we to develop this layer, we are using Globus Compute, and which is we use to manage the, the, the deployment of the functions and their invocation and processing of data. Then we have the endpoints layer, we, we start so we manage with Globus Compute, and basically is the infrastructure available to deploy this function. And then we have the data layer. In this data layer, we deploy a instance called data, contain data containers. We are in charge to manage the input and output uh, data produced on the, from the functions and to deliver uh, this data to each function uh, uh, that are distributed through, through multiple infrastructure. So the data containers basically keeps a control over the data produce it in the other layers. And we have another transversal plane, which, is, which basically coordinates the execution of the functions and the, move, and the movement of data between the, through the data containers. Uh, the data containers use, an, uh, use a data location scheme, which is based on an allocation, on a utilization factor where the container to store the data is selected based on the on a factor that is calculated by basically uh, obtaining the usage of the container and normalize it, no, and we normalize it to uh, select the container with the minimum utilization. So we generated metadata maps that keep the control over the data through all the data containers. We evaluate this architecture in a scenario where we move data from Mexico to uh, to Spain, and we use an as 
intermediate uh, instances deployed on AWS. So we have one computer, wow. one edge computer on Mexico, one edge computer on uh, in Spain, and different Fox computers on as intermediate with, uh, between these uh, edge computers. Uh, we uh, evaluate the uh, the performance of this architecture to move different uh, payload size. Uh, we uh, we evaluate two solutions of, of, our, of our architecture. The first one is moving directly the data. This is uh, the data is moving point to point, and it, uh, the data is not stored uh, between in a uh, in a storage in a storage system. It's only moved uh, and not uh, and not preserved. And the second one is including a storage system that preserves the data and include load balancing mechanisms and also security mechanisms. So here you evaluate how the architecture, the behavior of the architecture to different payload sizes. And we can observe that uh, the, as uh, expected, the uh, as more data is added to the, to the architecture, more the, the time required to move this data. Uh, Basically, we are not creating maps that represent uh, uh, that uh, joins the processing of the data with the storage of the data. Automatically, the data is moved to, through different infrastructures. And this creates a unified storage layer between different serverless functions deployed on different uh, infrastructures. We are not working on integrating this uh, architecture with a blockchain model to keep the traceability of the data. We also study self-adaptable mechanisms to choose the numbers of workers and Bitcoin containers in the storage maze. This is to scale automatically the numbers of containers and, and functions that are required to process the data and enhance that data distribution by elevating input-output bottlenecks. And we are so um, developing ad hoc storage systems uh, to enhance the the performance of these of these systems and uh, this uh, thank you any questions any questions from the room any questions from zoom either thank you dante